about genre and style. A lot of people think that, oh, my genre of music doesn't get used in TV because I don't necessarily hear it. So I'm not going to get into sync licensing. Wrong. Don't do that. You could totally get into sync. There are genres that are more commonly used than others, but that doesn't mean that your polka future bass track can't be used. But what we want to do, if we want to obtain more placements a lot quicker, we need to make sure that our music is versatile, experiment with different genres, combine them, create something fresh while staying within a sandbox. We want to keep our ear on trends, meaning anytime commercial comes on, instead of going to your phone, sit there and listen. It's literally everything we see on the media is a placement. Even the music on this video. Yeah, technically that's a placement. I need to pay the person that made this. And then also you want to make sure you're still continuing to be yourself. Our sonic fingerprint is what we always want in our music because it helps our stuff sound more unique. Being unapologetically authentic to your sound is going to help you get placed. Now let's get in the genres. Genres are like ice cream flavors. There's a huge world of options and some work better than others for the sync licensing. You got your pop music. This is like the crowd pleaser, vanilla ice cream. Everybody likes it because that's why it's pop music, right? It's versatile, it's catchy, and it works with a lot of different scenes in a lot of different TV shows, movies, what have you. Next, personally, that I've seen trend the most is hip hop music. They're like the chocolate chip cookie dough of the ice cream genres. It's got attitude. Anytime a brief asks for swagger or some type of edge in any scene, they're normally going with a hip hop track. But there's other things as well, like, for instance, with electronic music. Nowadays, everybody's making music with their computers. So electronic music's here to stay pretty much till the end of time. Stuff with a bunch of synthesizers, electronic beats and grooves. Electronic music's like, in my opinion, like the tangy sorbet that adds like a modern flavor to your ice cream collection. Genre number four is probably rock and roll. It could be indie rock, swagger rock, what have you. Rock and roll is here to stay as well. I call it like the cookies and cream of the sync licensing area. It's got a blend of cool yet catchy vibes that work for pretty much everything under the sun when it comes to sync licensing. Movie mon montages, commercials. It's just super duper relatable. And so cookies and cream, kind of like the shirt. And then my fifth and one of my favorite genres to actually create is orchestral music. Sometimes you just need a good old fashioned banana split Sunday, which I feel like is what orchestral music is because there's a bunch of different ingredients on it. You can add the sprinkles or whatever. But the reason why orchestral music works so well is because it brings that extra drama, emotion, tension and timeless class to any type of scene you're you're watching because you have a buttload of different colors of instruments that you can use in order to evoke different emotions.